Hi, I'm proud to present to you the MicroStream SD. It's a system consisting of a small controller to expand the UI of the Digico SD range mixing console. Let's have a look. So the system consists of different hardware components. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. This is the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And it needs a power supply, minimum 1.5 amps, micro USB, and furthermore, a short network cable to connect the Pi on the back of the console. The software you need to flash onto a small micro SD card. The MacroStream SD provides 14 macro keys with color screens. It is configured using the macro editor, just like the normal macro keys on your console. They use two-way communication, so you are actually sure that the console gets the message and it responds so we can change the color on the screen here. The last key is the status key. We can see we are connected to SD12 and we are on the macro page. There is also a config page. Here you set all the IP stuff as well as the license pin for the software and the backlight settings. If you want to change, just hit something, it turns green. You can use the plus minus key and then hit apply or cancel to just keep the settings as they were. So let's have a look at the macro. We can create a new macro. I'm gonna go to setup, macros, new, and then just put in the type maybe uh, change between main and alternate input on an input channel, call it something, mm. maybe call it spare, comma to separate with the line, and the dash and R to have the color. And then we need to place it using the OSC here and then we can hit number five. When we need to do the opposite, turn off the spec, go into the main and use the duplicate function. Then simply put in the name for main. Real dash G for green, and we have to switch this to R. There we have it. When you load a session, the MicroStream SD gets updated automatically. This MicroStream is connected over a router to both this SD12 and another SD10. One of the nice things about being on the network is that you can change which console you're controlling. So we can simply go into the config page and then we can change the console IP to the IP of the SD10 Then hit apply. Here you can see it changed to the SD10 Go back to the macro page for the SD10. I have a PA unmuted. Now we can mute the PA. And in the same way, we can get back to the SD12 if we know the IP. And then able to change it here. And then we're back at the SD12, the SD12 macros. You need to buy the hardware first, and then when you receive the hardware, you need to type in the serial number, which is here on the back side of your stream deck. 
then you go through a PayPal payment process and you will receive an email with download link for the software, user guide, as well as the license pin specific for your Stream Deck serial number. After you have downloaded the MacroStream ST version 1 software, unzip it and then download the Belina Edges software. Open it and then select the unzipped image, select the SD card, and then let it do its thing. So after you have flashed your SD card, you need to connect everything up. Here I have the Raspberry Pi inside the case and I place the SD card like this. And then we take a normal Ethernet cable straight from the console port to the Raspberry Pi. We connect our stream deck here using the USB plug. Place it anywhere where it fits your need. Could be here on the SD8 console we are at now. Then we're going to connect the power. Like this. And now the system will boot. And you can also see in a moment that the Ethernet will start to light up like this. When you first turn on the macro stream, you need to enter in your license pin. Here it's already good, but I can just show you. Hit it and then it turns green. When you change the digit to something that is wrong, then it was a bad license and within a minute it will close down so that you can only do config and can't get to your macros. To enter a good license pin you have to look at the mail you got when you bought the software here is a special license pin that matches up with the serial number of your stream deck and then it turns good after you have provided a good license pin you need to configure the network if you connect with a network cable straight between the raspberry pi and the digico you need to disable the HTTP, put in a local IP close to a console IP, same subnet as your console, and then a send and receive port, and then the code console IP. Uh, I know that this console IP is not the correct one. I think it's dot one hundred. So let's type that in. And then if you have changed anything you need to hit the apply key for it to take effect. If you change the local IP subnet or DHCP setting, the system will need to reboot. It takes like 50 seconds max. Here, when we just change the target IP, the console IP, it will just take a couple of seconds when we hit apply. And here we can see it turned green and says ST12. So now we're connected and we can go to the macro page. Then we can control stuff. The macro stream SD can connect to any SD range digital consoles. It's the SD5, SD7, SD8, SD9, SD10, SD11 and here we have the SD12. The first time you need to connect it up, go hit the setup then hit external control and here we need to add a device we choose the Digico pad device you need to put in the name it's not important we can call it macro stream SD then hit next then we need to put in the IP address of the macro stream I know that it's 
168.1.57. The send port needs to be the opposite as the local send port on the stream deck. So this should be 9000. Next one should be 8000. Hit OK. Then we hit the enable. And then we also need to load the commands aloud. Sometimes you'll have two different choices here. Either is fine. It says the commands are loaded. And now we just need to hit the enable external control up here. And it's connected. If you want to switch controlling your console between the Mac for Stream ST and your iPad, you can simply have another device added for your iPad, with the iPad IP, and then 9001 in send, 8001 in receive, and then you can just change by hitting the check mark, whether it's the macro stream that's controlling or your iPad. The status key tells a lot about the communication between the macro stream and your console. No ETH means that there is no Ethernet connection, no link, so it has to be connected at both ends and the console should be on. Then we can put in the cable again here. You can see it goes to no con. That's right now because we haven't enabled it in the external control window. If I do this now, it will show the green name of the type of console you're connected to. Then you can go to the macro page. So that was a quick look into the first edition of the macro stream. I hope you really like it. If you would like to have one yourself for your own tour or theater production, please go to my website labs.frostbox.net and you will find a download link as well as an Amazon card link for buying the hardware for the system. Thank you and please leave feedback below this video in the comments or um, email me at support at frostbox.net. Thank you. Have a nice show.